hello, 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 everybody. And happy, happy hump day. Happy hump day. Y'all already know. I told y'all happy hump day this morning. And also, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for all of the prayers for Marina. I really appreciate it, and I know that she really, really appreciates it. So, thank y'all so much for that. I just greatly, greatly appreciate it, and appreciate the positivity, and the prayers, and just the awesome thoughts, and kind words, and just thank you guys. So, you know, anytime we're all going through something, just it, it, anything extra helps, so... I know she can use it, and I know how much she appreciates it, and I know she told y'all how much she appreciates it, so thank you guys so, so, so much, so, but, um, yeah, just out running a couple errands, um, we went and put mom's trailer at the storage yard today, and then went and dro dropped the truck off at the, uh, shop to see if we can figure out what the heck's going on with the AC again, so, I don't know, they're kind of, sort of, now acting like they want to give us a run around, which that ain't going to happen, but oh well, well, we'll see, we'll see what's going on, but um, anyway, so, but other than that, I hope y'all are having a great hump day, so, but I love y'all, so I'm kind of, I don't know, having a little bit of a funky day, I went to the doctor this morning, and it was just supposed to be just a kind of regular checkup, make sure that some meds that she started me on last month are doing okay, which a couple of them are. Um, but uh, I'm still having stomach issues, and it's like every time I eat anything, um, like I just get these intense stomach pains. But I told her that to me, it feels like my ulcers. And um, so she did this pee. P. Loria, P. Valoria, whatever test, where she had me, I had to like blow in a bag. I had to like take a deep breath in and then hold it for three seconds and blow air in this bag and then drink this stuff and then blow in a bag, wait 15 minutes and then I drink this stuff, wait 15 minutes and then blow in a bag again to see if it's ulcers. And then I have a um, sonogram of my stomach Friday morning at 7 a.m. And then if those all come back clear, then she wants me to, to be scoped. She wants my GI doctor to scope me next. Um, and I told her that, I mean, like everything else, like I don't have belly pain, like when she pushes and stuff, but it's like, well, pretty much anytime I eat or drink anything, sometimes even coffee, I just get this intense pain. But the pain feels like my, like ulcer pain. Like my stomach is just like literally just twisting in a knot. And I've had ulcers off and on for years. I mean, we're talking 20 years. And that's exactly what it feels like to me. But so she did this P. Valoria or whatever test. And um, they're going to let me know on that. So, but I don't know. Um, so uh, maybe y'all know what I'm talking about. I know I'm saying it totally wrong, but maybe it'll make some sense to y'all. But um, anyways, so, um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's weird. But, um And um, she told me that she's worried about me being anorexic and especially with one of the medicines that I'm on and because it's basically an antidepressant, I mean, not an antidepressant, an anti, um, or wait, um, I forget what it is. Not an antidepressant, but a, like it makes you not want to eat. That kind of medicine. Um, like a appetite, anti-appetite stimulant or, you know, I forget what, I can't think of what it's called right now, but it makes you not want to eat. So, um, but hang on, I'll be right back. I got to run in and do something real quick. I'll be right back. Hold that thought. BRB. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Um, an appetite suppressant. That's what it is. It, it, the, one of my medicines has an, it's an, has an appetite suppressant in it. And she said that, um, she said you'll notice that anything 
that is a weight loss medication. It has, and of course she gave me the full name of it, but it's got some long word, but she was like, yeah, you'll notice it's got this blah, 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 as an ingredient in it. And of course I couldn't even begin to tell you what the hell she said. And I was like, oh, and I was like, well, actually my fat ass has gained five pounds. And she was like, actually, that makes me happy because you actually need to gain about another five pounds. And she was like, I worry about you. And so I was telling my mom that, and my mom said, yeah. She said, actually, I'm going to be real honest with you. She said, I worry about that too. She said, because, she said, every time um, we go out to eat, she said, every single time before we leave, you go to the bathroom. Every single time. Well, I do that because every time we go to eat, I drink coffee. And so, which that really kind of hurt my feelings. So, but because that really is why I'm going to the bathroom. When I vomit, it's very obvious that I've vomited. Like my eyes water, my nose is running. Like it's very obvious um, that I've been sick. But, um, but yeah, so, but I mean, it, it makes me feel bad that my mom worries. So, but no, that's, it's, I'm not, I'm not vomiting. So... through this. What's up, cutie? <laughs> okay, I need to try to make it through. And Oh, good lordy, I am never going to make it through this. I wanted to go to QT, but yeah, it looks like I'm just going to have to do it this way. I wanted to go to QT for a coffee. Looks like I'm going to have to do it this way. But, um, anyways, so, um, but yeah, so she told me that, um, she said, that actually makes me feel really good. She said, because I was really worried about you with this medicine. So, um, but yeah, so she, um, since one of the medicines she put me on isn't working for my stomach, like I said, she did this P. pyloria or whatever test, just whatever it is. And then, um, you know, you can turn on yellow. And then I'm doing my ultrasound on my stomach, sonogram, whatever, at, um, seven o'clock on Friday morning and then um, oh, I wanted to see his tattoo and then um, if that comes back clear then she's going to have my GI doctor do um, a scope so we'll see we will see what happens but Anyways, other than that, it went good. And I asked her about a shingles vaccine, um, which they usually don't recommend unless you're 50 or older, but I'm 49. And she said that because I'm immunocompromised, she does recommend it. And usually insurance won't pay for it unless you're 50 or older. But she said that insurance should pay for it because I'm immunocompromised. So, and she said that they actually don't carry it that, um, like Walgreens carries it. So I guess when I go pick up my scripts tonight, I'll ask Walgreens about it and see. So, and um, just see what they have to say. But, oh, I'm so tired. But other than that, um, yeah, I've had a busy day. My chemo, I started not feeling good this afternoon when mom and I were leaving the doctor. And when I was waiting on her to jack with her TV that she wanted to return, I was really starting not feeling good, but it went away, luckily. So, thank God, because it was putting me in a grumpy mood. Now I'm just trying to get to quick trip so I can get me some caramel, 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 mochiato, whatever, coffee. And then run to the grocery store and do some grocery shopping with it, because I need some coffee. But, 
Um, and then hopefully hear something about the truck. Like I said, he kind of started trying to dick us around on it, trying to say, oh, because, you know, we replaced a $700 part on it. And, but, and unfortunately, they don't make an OEM part on it anymore. Even GM doesn't make an OEM part for it anymore. And so he was like, well, maybe, you know, y'all could find one on eBay, you know, that he told us this a couple weeks ago. And because we were like, yeah, we looked up an OEM part and they don't make it anymore. And he was like, yeah, maybe you might look out on eBay. So then when we took it in today, this fool tries telling us, you know, oh, well, maybe you could find like an, you know, maybe the problem is you might have to find an OEM part for that to stop having issues with it. Oh, okay. So after we spend 700 damn dollars with y'all on an aftermarket $700 part, your ass wants to try to tell me that you want us to spend how much money on an OEM part on eBay? boy, I'm going to come across the counter and slap the shit out to you. Like, duh, uh, uh And so then, when I about rolled my eyes at him, then he tried telling me, well, maybe you, so, you know, Roden got in there and chewed some wire. I swear to God, I'm going to slap the, mm. I said, just figure out what the hell's going on. Translation, we don't know what the hell the problem is. I've been trying to tell my dad that these guys don't really know what they're doing. So finally, when I told my dad about it, and he was like, well, is Billy not there? I said, this was Billy, the manager telling me this crap. And he said, well, I'm starting to lose faith in them. I said, yes, yeah, what I've been trying to tell you, but whatever. I ain't gonna say nothing. So, but anyways. Okay, well, I'm gonna run into QT and get me a coffee, but I love y'all and I'll be back. Bye. Thank you guys again for praying for my marina. So, I appreciate it. Love y'all. Bye. And have a wonderful rest of the hump day. Bye guys.